Hello my friends of Genshin Impact, this is Tildrill and today I will beat the Spiral Abyss with a perfect star rating without using animal characters, except Sucrose. Is it an indirect strike against Kazuya? Who knows? For reference, my Sucrose is only level 70, talent level 1 and only on Constellation 4 because I got lucky. But in theory, you could do the same as I do with a Sucrose at Constellation 1. This is all you need. Ah, and if you want a more in-depth and more analytic video of the whole new Abyss, then watch my older video I made a week or two weeks ago. Yeah, It's, it's much longer, but I pretty much tell you every thought behind my team building and which elements you need for each specific floor and chamber. So, let's -a go! Okay, after clearing floor 9 and 10 in this playthrough, I decided to skip those two floors because it was really boring i guess nothing really that great happened if you need help with those two floors then watch my older video there i did every floor anyway these are the two teams as you can see i try the hard mode without a single animo character uh, i just hope that i can defend the structure um yeah energy recharge very good yeah i just hope i can defend the structure without really crowd without really having crowd control but mona needs to suffice mm -hmm. it would be much easier with sucrose or venti because then every of those small enemies yeah would get sucked to the burst mm -hmm. ah but yeah, my Eula's auto attacks are doing enough damage, I think. And it should be no problem. Except those big ones are... Fuck. Yeah. Okay, let's see how much damage <laughs> my burst does. To the other one, come on. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Mm. I guess the burst number, the damage number, was quite alright. Wasn't fully charged. And my Eula still has very bad artifacts. I'm I'm very unlucky. I'm uh, I'm cursed with bad luck when I roll for those um, pale flame set pieces. And by the way, uh, the Shengling I'm using right now doesn't even have a goblet because it's all on my Dilluk. <laughs> but she's still doing her job. Yeah. Mm, here. Where? Okay. Now, I think I can get rid of the shield with my fully defense skills in Yan with the charge attacks. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Come on, lose your fucking armor. Hmm. Yeah, then comboing, some melt reactions. What? Are we in Matrix? How did I miss that? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oof, but we get it. Floor cleared, three stars, 62%. Closer than I thought, to be honest. Closer than I thought. Okay, <laughs> crit rate and crit damage. Thank you, game RNG. All we need. Okay. Just spreading the omen debuff, and I hope this will be good for Eula. Not embarrassing. And he wasn't in range. Are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah. And for this fire shield exactly, we have Mona with us. If you don't have Mona, bring Barbara with you. Doesn't matter if she's at level one. <laughs> 
Hydro application is hydro application. And healer with two healers? Or is it one healer and two cryo for two is? One healer and two cryo for two is okay. So, it should be no problem. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, his shield. But we damaged him far enough that his shield is no problem. Even with uh, greater resistance to our damage. And the last one. <laughs> that was fast. But hey, I'm lucky enough to have Ganyu. Pro tip, skip Ayaka that's coming out really soon and save for Ganyu. She's the better cryo DPS <laughs> for real. Except of course, hey, don't push my fish around and chuke the rockets with iframes with bursts. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, except of course you like Ayaka for her visuals and, you, and, and her art style, but yeah, you don't need Ay Ayaka. You, you only need Ganyu in your life, in your set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we are perfectly in time. Without animal user. <laughs> Bam. Breaking down in the distance. And now... Nah, shouldn't be that big of a problem. Because it's still floor 11. They are not level 100. Level 92 is no problem. Hey! Don't chook. Don't get pushed away from my arrow shots. Yeah. Can you with melt damage. Should do the trick. What? Hmm. Pop. And now you have to do elemental reactions. Don't hit them with auto attacks. This won't damage their shields whatsoever. Concentrate on elemental reactions. Oh my god, that's boring. I'm sorry you have to watch through that, but bear with me, he's down soon. <laughs> Just some chip damage after chip. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm activating my burst. This is going way too long. Thank you. Good, for floor 12. As you can see, I'm only using Sucrose as my only Anemo user, and I use her in my first half team, so she can swirl the Abyss Major shields into another and they cancel each other out. Should be no problem with an elemental damage burst bonus. Starts good, thank you Abyss buff. So we throw everything down and for some melt reactions and now Sucrose sucking and damage and yeah they stand no chance with shredded resistances and everything that's what <laughs> do you see that we inflict some brain damage on them <laughs> okay this is the easiest floor 12 chamber one i have ever done <laughs> they ran into another ai malfunction <laughs> And the second one. Now we have plenty of time. Yeah. We we can chill. We have three three stars. Yeah. Three stars for free coming up. Won't take long. Is it doing No I'm so sorry for this embarrassing sight. My Eula is so bad, but still borderline suitable and useful for the abyss if she were a little bit worse i couldn't even use her uh. but it's sufficient i guess three stars let's go mm -hmm. 
Ultimate Mastery is okay for shields for the Lecter in the end, so I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here my strategy is to in fuse to imbue sucrose's burst with pyro and yeah i i fucked up okay my strategy would be to infuse sucrose's burst with pyro so every enemy loses this cryo shield where they get damage resistance like 99 percent of everything i do to them and once i achieve that they will die pretty Quickly. And in f yes! Perfect plan. And now they die. No, them. Mm. Except, of course, I miss everything. But. Very good. I think this was fast enough. Although I misplayed once and <laughs> gave Sucrus's burst a cryo in fusion I already want to say injection <sighs> and ca don't kill my eula you bitches oh boy I need healing but <sighs> yeah I need to take some time for that I hope this doesn't take away my three star clearing Okay. That was unfortunate before, but we should still be in time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now, until the explosion occurs, I need to get rid of this shield. Very good. And resistant shred. And wow. This does no damage. So sad. But it's still enough to do it in time. And rap bam! <laughs> Three stars. Let's go! Elemental Okay. Burst damage up again. And now, witness my master plan. I wait. Wait until they gather. Or yeah, what whatever. He will get you. Yes, as you can see. And they... Yeah, they cancelled each other out. And you don't need anything more. You only need Sucrose at level 70 or even at level 60. And with a decently skilled and invested damage character, main DPS, you can clear this out. No problem. Ah. I should have chewed that. Now get in your shielded state. Very fine, very good. Uh, the only problem is I don't have Shengling's burst up now. This would be good. No, I'm stupid. Now I can't use it. I've got hit by the it's lightning. Fuck. Give me the particle. Thank you. Uh, too late, but it's still. Mm. I lost. 10 seconds on that minimum fucking hell now i'm worried because this team is not that good in removing this herald shield in the shielded state this will be a sprint against time fuck and explosion okay first time it does decent damage uh, I only need this shield gun, please, and I can hit both of them with my burst. Shield gun, perfect, and boom, they didn't die, at least one of them died. Da, kill him. So, and now, I have one minute to inflict elemental reactions. To get rid of this shield. 
Come on, Switch. Switch. I need to do something. Bam. I mean, it doesn't really matter to activate any of Mona's skills. Because she's inflicting pyro damage, but yeah. Pyro, because she's inflicting hydro damage, but as you can see, perfect star rating even with misplaying. Yes! And once again, the Abyss conquered as it should be. And as you hopefully see, you don't need Venti, you don't need Kazuha, you only need a Sucrose at level 70 with no investment whatsoever in talents and yeah nothing basically just some halfway decent artifacts so don't get pressured in summoning for a character you maybe don't even want because yeah you don't need kazoo for this anyway i hope you had fun watching my playthrough of floor 11 and 12 of the new spiral abyss and that you learned something from it and as always i hope that we see each other in my next videos Bye.